Neuroptera contain the lacewings. So they have complete metamorphosis, egg larva, pupa, adult. They have two pair of large membranous net vein wings, which are longer than their body. And they're similar in, similar in size and texture and held roof-like along the body. They have chewing mouth parts. They're predaceous, soil dwelling, aquatic, and terrestrial. They often fly at night and are usually drawn to lights. You sometimes will see in your light fixtures. Um, some, as I said, some species of green lacewing are predaceous. Others just feed on honeydew, nectar, and pollen. So the eggs are on these silken stalks attached to plant tissues, and they're green when they're laid. They darken before hatching, and they're incredibly tiny. We had somebody bring one in last year for a sample and didn't even know it was on the leaf. It was that tiny. So here we've got a black aphid, so that kind of gives you an idea of how tiny these guys are. This makes it even tinier. So you look at the little white things on the underside of the leaf, that's how tiny these guys are. So as I said, they've got complete metamorphosis. The eggs hatch in about four days. They have three instars before pupating. And the larvae, which are pale and dark with uh, markings, they look like little alligators. Here's uh, the egg hatching here. Here's coming out of the egg. Really, really tiny. But here's the larva. They're flattened. They're tapered at the tail. They're about 20 millimeters long, and they have very distinct legs. And they eat a bunch of stuff. So mealybugs, psyllids, thrips, mites, whiteflies, aphids, small caterpillars, leafhoppers, and insect eggs. And if you release them in a greenhouse or an interior scape, they will eat long-tailed mealybugs. Here they are feeding on some aphids. So they have this loosely woven silken cocoon that attaches to plants or under loose bark. They overwinter as adults, and they're usually in leaf litter at the edges of fields. So during spring and summer, females lay several hundred small eggs on the leaves. Uh, the larvae emerge, emerge in three to six days. You can also buy green lacewings, and this is actually fairly successful if you want to buy uh, biological control. These actually work out really well. Here's that cocoon. And if you're trying to just attract them into your garden, you can uh, plant things in the carrot family or APAC, such as Angelica, Daisy family, such as Cosmos, and this is on a uh, Facelia here. So, uh, really cool insect.